What is up everyone? My name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome to this video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, I'll be showing guys how to fix and install QuickTime on Windows 10. After upgrading to Windows 10, I realized that QuickTime will not install properly on Windows 10. And this is a large issue for me because I cannot use MOV files in Adobe products such as After Effects or Premiere Pro without QuickTime, so that is a very large issue for me when I'm editing videos. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and fixed QuickTime for you guys, and it's bundled in a zip folder in the description below, and you can find it there, it'll be linked. So once you have downloaded the fixed zip folder, go ahead and right click on it and go to extract all and extract the contents of the zip folder. The zip folder is basically just compressing the file size so you guys don't have to waste as much bandwidth. Now after you've extracted the files from the zip folder, you'll get a file folder called QT. And what we want to do with that file folder is we want to go to your local C drive and drag and drop that QT file folder in your C drive. Now once you've dragged and dropped your QT file folder in your C drive, open it up and what we want to do is we want to open the file that says command line QuickTime Windows 10 and you want to copy all the characters in there right click and copy them to your clipboard next what we need to do is we need to go to command prompt and we need to run command prompt as administrator if you don't this will not work next what we want to do is we want to go to CD space C colon backslash and what we want to do is we want to type in QT there now this will redirect you to the QT file folder that is in your C drive. Next what you want to do is you want to right click and paste that information into the command prompt and hit enter. Now this installation may take a few minutes to complete. After it's completed you'll notice that there will be a QuickTime icon on your desktop. Now I have an SSD in my computer so it doesn't take too long but this can take up to a few minutes if you have a slower PC. Now to test if QuickTime installed properly on your computer, go ahead and open up QuickTime. You should get a uh, file association. I'm just going to click no on that. And there we go. QuickTime is open and working properly on Windows 10. So I hope this helped you guys fix the issue with installing QuickTime because Apple hasn't updated it yet to uh, recognize Windows 10 as the newest operating system. It only recognizes up to Windows 7 and 8.1, I believe. Uh, anyways, if you guys like this video hit the like button below if you want to see more content like this subscribe to my youtube channel i'd very much appreciate that and as always i'll see you guys in the next video see you later